of the day. Good morning, welcome back to Salty Country. We're down in the land of palm trees this morning. We uh, decided the weather at the farm was gonna be 40s, 50s raining this weekend. So uh, last night we drove down and uh, it's 60, mid, mid to upper 60s this morning and uh, gonna be in the mid to upper 70s today. So it's a big difference in the weather. Uh, down here, uh, things s still seem to be a little tropical and the plants are growing around the uh, house. I'll, I'll show you that here in a second. Sago palm is doing well. The elephant ears, they're still growing good. The split leaf philodendron is growing well. But grass is starting to turn a little uh, brown. It's, it's going dormant a little bit. The uh, beautyberry bush out there has kind of turned a little bit yellow. It's time for it to uh, stop its growing season anyway, so we'll probably trim it back for next spring. Got to get out here and trim this palm one day. It's uh, in need of a good haircut. I don't know if I've ever explained the name of our page, uh, Salty Country. Uh, we spend a lot of time on the farm and also down in the Pensacola area on the Gulf. So part of our life is uh, the salty life and then part of our life is the country life. So that's how we came up with the name Salty Country. But uh, we'll share some of our travels today and just show you some different interesting things. And we'll probably talk about uh, some of the stuff that we're going to do in the future and and maybe just uh follow up on some of the questions people may have one of the things we're preparing to do is replace the windows on the house it was a long lead item i think it took somewhere around 22 weeks for the windows to come in year around the christmas season we're going to get all the window treatments down they're going to come and replace all the windows on the house with hurricane windows so we won't have to worry about shutters and any of that kind of stuff if a hurricane rolls in don't know if you've ever experienced whataburger it's a great place to eat oh yeah by the way early december this is the uniform of the day we have these little gecko lizards you might can see them on the light I'm going to zoom in on him. He's sitting there getting warm. Sun's out. It's in the 70s. He's just chilling out. 77 degrees. It's not bad. We're about to go into the candy store. Scambia Bay. Beautiful evening. The bay is calm. There's a guy down here fishing. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Seventy six degrees. I 
This is a uh, nice December day in uh, North Pensacola. It's been a pretty good day. Uh, we're back at the house. Uh, wanted to talk a little bit about what we do. Um, I've been in construction for years, years and years, grew up in it, um, other than my military service, uh, pretty much been in the construction industry the majority of my life. So, um, Melody can let you know what she does. I uh, work for a local school. I've been in the education field for about 27 years, 28 years, something like that. Yeah, so we've always worked, uh, even with raising the kids, uh, Melody worked in the education, uh, either in pre-K or yeah. that, uh, and kind of try to stay with the kids. But uh, all the kids are grown now and on their own. So we're still working our normal everyday jobs. Uh, we see the light at the end of the tunnel as far right. as working. Um, hopefully in the next several years we'll be retired from those jobs and then we can focus on uh, the farm and and the the beach and just having fun and enjoying life. Uh, one, some of the stuff that we want to do when we get back to the farm is we got to continue the fence work in the upper pasture. Uh, we got to mend it. We've got to take uh, the what I call the limb trimmer small clippers and go down and trim some of the small stuff out of the fence but we want to get the uh get the fence in the upper pasture buttoned up and then we'll tackle the uh second pasture pasture number two we'll uh we'll jump on that one next and then probably after that we're going to move down into the bottoms i know in several episodes I talked about uh, moving down to the bottoms and, and clearing some of that stuff. All right. So um, we've got a lot of work planned there. Barn. Yeah, we've got the barn. Um, where the shed is, we're going to possibly do an addition on it. Uh, we've been kind of debating on what exactly we're going to do there. So uh, in future episodes, we may share uh, something about that, but uh, it's definitely on our radar. It will give us a place to uh, store equipment. Right now, the boat's stored up under the carport at the house. Uh, we're looking to move it down to the barn if we add onto the shed to make it an actual barn to where we can store equipment and stuff. So there's a lot of things that are in the works that um, we need to uh, follow up with, but we're always on the go. Yeah. We're, we're, we are, if you uh, blink, we're gonna be somewhere else. So, <clears throat> so you'll miss us. So, um, you know, our kids are all over the place. Uh, there's a good thing and a bad thing about raising independent kids wow. is they go do their own thing, which is great. Uh, I'm not knocking it. I wouldn't have it any other way. But uh, our oldest son lives in Australia. And our middle son, he he's next door. But uh, for several years, he he lived in different parts of the country and are in different parts of our area. So he's back mm -hmm. and he's next door. So, uh, and then our youngest son, he's off in the military. So 
Um, either we're traveling to see kids, we're down at uh, Pensacola at the Gulf Coast, or we're working on the farm. So we're always on the move. Um, the the Pensacola property is only four and a half, five hours from the farm in Georgia. So we're back and forth several times a month, a couple times a month at least. Yeah, it's not a bad trip at all. So, um, you know, we, we get in on Friday evenings from work and we say, you know, we can be at the beach by bedtime. So, all right. So we hop in the car and, and drive down uh, often. So um, this area down here is total opposite of <clears throat> of where the farm is. The farm is probably, I would say, eight miles from what I call civilization. Uh, we've got a small town close to us, but... Very small. Yeah, but uh, down here in Pensacola, we're right in the middle of everything. So, you know, it takes a couple of minutes to to, uh, to get to the airport and the mall and shopping, shopping and groceries. A few minutes, and we're in downtown, and 15 minutes we're at the beach. So uh, it's it's a good it's a good mix for us. It it's a total change of uh, our normal routine. Right. We enjoy we enjoy the vast difference between the two, and um, we'll be retiring and spending the majority of our time in Pensacola. Uh, we'll spend a lot of time on the farm. Uh, yeah. The channel is going to continue because we're going to share with everyone what we're doing on the farm. We got lots of plans there. Yeah. And uh, so if uh, everything works out and uh, economy improves, then we plan on retiring in the next several years. And then uh, we'll share with everyone the mix of of the salt and the mix of the country. Right. So um, we'll be down at the beach and uh, share some of that stuff. Um, this is a, you wouldn't believe the difference in the weather in Northwest Georgia and the, the panhandle of Florida. But in the yeah. winter time, yeah. it's, a, it's a big difference. Um, it can be freezing at the farm and we can come down to Pensacola and be walking around downtown in shorts and flip-flops like today. So, um, it's, uh, definitely a big change in the weather, <clears throat> but, uh, I want to thank all the supporters. Yes. Thank the, you all. For the channel. Um, it's amazing how many people have... Uh, followed us, liked the st liked our content, and continue. Subscribed. Yeah, and continue to watch our videos. Yeah. Um, we need those subscriptions. Yep. Yeah, um, we really appreciate all the support. Uh, we um, never thought it was going to get to this point, but uh, it's amazing how many people follow us and. Uh, comment and like stuff so hats off to you we appreciate it um so we'll see where the channel goes but um we're going to continue sharing it's not about it's not about us uh get, you know it's not about sharing clickbait or no. and and getting folks just to uh follow us so the content we'll continue to share, and um, we hope you uh, enjoy us and uh, enjoy what we share, and join us on the journey and the adventures over the next 
several years as we continue to uh, improve some things at the farm. And then we'll share some of uh, what we do down here when we're in the Panhandle of Florida at the Pensacola area. This is a military town. Um, we were stationed down here late 80s, early 90s, and decided then this is where we we're gonna retire. So right. um, we worked very hard, stayed focused on what we wanted to do. And uh, eventually uh, got a place down here. And so that's the plan. So, um, we're gonna be signing off. Uh, we'll share the content from the day, but it was a good day. Uh, the weather at home in, in uh, Georgia was uh, 40s, 50s raining. Right. It's, it's raining down, it started raining down here this evening. Yeah. Um, but it's funny, we just got back from uh, going out to eat dinner and uh, it's 70 degrees still down here and <laughs> it's raining. Yes, raining, 70 degrees. Um, and it, well, if it was raining at in Georgia where we were, it would be freezing. We'd feel like it was icy. Here, it was just like, hmm, little rain. The big difference in, in uh, the farm and here right now is uh, the wind. Uh, earlier today, uh, Melly and I were out, and the wind down here is warm. When the wind blows, you, it's it's got like a warmth in it. Back home, it's a, it's the opposite. Uh, at back home, it's got that chill in the air, like the air is coming out of the north. Axel and Sophie are with us. They travel back and forth from the farm with us. They they uh, they know if, if we are carrying bags to the vehicle that they're about to go somewhere. Yes. So that so they get excited, but uh, we'll put their harness on them, and uh, then they know it's on. They're they're about to ride. And they love uh, riding. They love going. It and it's funny. They'll get in the vehicle and we'll drive five hours, and most of the time they don't budge until we get close to either place and then they're up because they kind of, I guess they kind of sense where they are, but for the most of the, most of the time they're crashed out sleeping. We're on the road. Yeah. But uh, one thing I want to touch on before we sign off is go dogs. <laughs> go dogs. <laughs> the, the Bulldogs won the SEC championship this evening. Uh, it's it's a huge uh, feat for them. Yes. Uh, for two years straight, they've they've played outstanding football. Uh, we love college football. Our your kids played sports, and I played sports in high school. So right. we love we love uh, college football. So anyway. Um, we'll see how they do in the national championship. And uh, you'll probably hear me running my mouth again about them <laughs> if they do something uh, in the national championship. But anyway, proud of the dogs. And we want to thank everyone for watching. Remember, if you like our content, subscribe. Also, share our content with your friends. And thank you, everyone, for your support. Thank you.